Māori settled Aotearoa from the Pacific. We've known since then the medicinal qualities of this plant. We've known about it forever. My name is Trevor Mauriere. The name of our company is Kawa Ora and is based in Te Aitanga Hauiti or Uawa. How it started was the local Hauora was supplying whānau with free kawakawa. We got four 50 gram containers and we developed the recipe and then we decided to put it to market. We make it out of all organic stuff, organic olive oil, kawakawa leaves we pick ourselves, manuka honey beeswax and manuka honey. I don't think I could have done it at home by myself without the Tolaga Bay innovation. It's taken me to places, you know, I didn't even know existed. It's been awesome. I wonder why I never looked at it 20 years ago. <laughs> It can be a lonely journey. At the end of the day, it's about valuing those who value you, putting your time and effort where it needs to go, then sharing with others and growing their knowledge and their capacity. This is a great push or a great initiative to get behind, so it's awesome to see this innovation hub here really to support the businesses, ideas that they want to get off the ground. We're starting to see some positive progress. What we've been talking about for years is starting to come into fruition. The Wahi Toa from Tolaga Bay. Yeah! Ah, we got it! Thank you. We're starting to walk the talk. We're starting to see progress. Their businesses are set up and that is what is so exciting. What they're doing is, is really tough, not easy to start a business, especially in a place like Tolaga Bay. See people say, you know, I've, I've created this, here's who I am, this is what I'm doing, this is what my plan is, I'm moving forward into the future. It is really helpful to have somebody there to enable you to do what you want to do. Today we're here at the Tolaga Bay Innovation Hub and we're able to catch up with everybody's progress, see what tools, instruments or anything that we need to help prosper our business. Great education all the way from United Kingdom have sent us a 3D printer. I mean, how marvellous is that? Creating our own arts and crafts or something unique to our region. Then creating that another revenue stream for our businesses. In order for our businesses to really make it, there needs to be digital presence. We have developed our tech hub on site. Our IT specialist hands up to him. What would take me 10 minutes takes him 10 seconds. Now what used to take me 10 minutes would only take me 10 seconds. Thanks. That just saved the whole little last 20 minutes. EIT put a call out looking for projects for their third year students. So we came up with the idea of building Lily a web app to provide a digital platform for all the businesses that the Tolago Bay Innovation Hub supports. The idea of the Tolaga Bay Inn as a mothership for the thriving hub where everything else will pull things together and the way that Lily is pulling in the support from all of these different sources, having all of these different things to build it all up, I think that's part of what will make it. What's really evident is you can do business without leaving home. You can live on the coast and live a very simple life and yet you can function in a global business community. It's about raising the profile, using technology, allowing the people in those rural communities to do their business. It's been an amazing experience working with Lily and John and the rest of the team. The longevity of this project is about three months. We've been offered these opportunities and we're going to take them. So it's not a website, it's a web app. It allows the businesses from the innovation to create their own business profile, have their own images, gallery, blog, everything that you'd want on your own website. Run a business after five event. I was lucky enough to meet Lily and John and we discussed what was happening. We found that we actually had a common interest there. It's real rewarding, especially seeing our website go live. It's like, oh, yeah, I did that. Features a lot about the Tolaga Bay Inn, its history, where it is, what they wish to accomplish, and there's a lot about the community you can read up on. This world's going further into technology. A highlight for me creating this website is to further my knowledge and what I enjoy. I said it will be really good. I think all of the small businesses just be more known. The actual purpose is to build their online presence, their digital marketing, without having to go and pay for all that infrastructure. We're going to take that out of their hands for them, make it as simple as possible. I'm excited about the impact that it's going to make for Tolaga Tolaga Bay in and for the community in Tolaga Bay and also for our students and their future.
Another beautiful day on the east coast, the Luawa, and today is the day that packaging has just arrived. Mother Nature is the most powerful beast in the world. If we don't work with it, we'll come second. <laughs> The product has arrived. Sustainable packaging. Gotta rip it open and check it out. Here it is, folks. Bad bird aluminium. In today's world, a hundred percent sustainable, recyclable, just what the world needs now. Okay, this is the Kawakawa plant. We've picked the leaf. We're now gonna run you through the process of making the bar. So we just go through this, see if there's no other contamination in it. When the looper moth lays its eggs on the underside of the leaf, when the eggs hatch, the first thing they eat is the kawakawa leaf. When the plant realizes it's been attacked, it increases its medicinal value. Take it to a double boiler, place it in the pot, add the olive oil. You only have to stir it when you add the beeswax. See, it's starting to melt off the side now. the beeswax. I have an association with a beekeeper in Te Araro and one in Gisborne. One of the byproducts of the Manuka honey is the Manuka honey beeswax. From the end of January on there's an abundance of it. This is what it looks like after the leaf's been taken out uh, and the beeswax has been added. I'll just run it around here so you can see. Put it in a little steel jug. Come over here to your container. There we have it. The Kawakawa plant in Aotearoa is the same family of the Kawakawa plant in Fiji and the islands. The only difference is this one doesn't have a psychedelic ingredient, but it does have awesome medicinal qualities. At the low key range, light cuts, scratches, abrasions, chafing, it will heal those. It will soothe and moisturize dry skin, dry lips, dry anything. It will relieve eczema and psoriasis and many other minor skin ailments. It's just amazing. Even after all these years of using it, it still blows me away. And it's a beautiful cup of tea. Thank you.